Hey, your viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist, and welcome back to Sir, You're Being Hunted, episode 366 now. So, back here, of course, with the, uh, well, continuing on with the old uh, Blunderbuss bus challenge on the South Island now. It's actually quite late now, as of when I record this. It's coming up to 11 in, in, the, uh, in the evening, or 11 at night, rather. So, um, one last uh, episode of something to record as part of my recording session that I've had today. I've been recording a few things with Phil, as well as a few things of my own. Basically, we recorded some TF2, a bit of Tomb Raider, uh, Metal Slug 2, we did a final episode for that, which is pretty good. You'll be seeing that on the... well, actually, by the time this video goes out, this one, you'll probably actually have already seen all of that, which is great. But I'm recording a few uh, more Tomb Raider episodes myself as well, since that's a game that I really want to uh, get a, kind of get cracking on with, since uh, technically I've been playing it for so fucking long, and have yet to finish it. But, um, man... Oh, Tomb Raider is a fascinating game, actually, in the sense that obviously it's a, you know, when I say Tomb Raider, I mean the original Tomb Raider from friggin' 1996 or whatever it was, which is kind of crazy, but um, it's enjoyable. Quite uh, challenging, though, in the sense that um, controls can be quite clunky at times, but I've been sort of sticking with it. I've had very big moments of frustration with it at times, which admittedly sometimes has been more down to me being a bad player, necessarily, than um, than the game itself, though, admittedly, the game's controls are, like I say, quite clunky, but that's actually not the main topic of conversation that I was wanting to talk about uh, today. Maybe that's a uh, topic for a future so you being Hunted episode, I don't know. But, um, also, actually, uh, this just this evening, before I started to, you know, record my final episodes for today, I was, um, watching a bit of YouTube, and, you know, I've talked about my YouTube viewing habits before during Sir You're Being Hunted, but uh, I'll talk about them again here. I mean, I've mentioned, you know, about various channels, things that I sometimes like to watch, whether that's Yogscast, whether that's Game Grumps from time to time, stuff like that, because I really love that style of humour. It's great. Utterly love it and all that. But uh, one that I've actually been watching quite recently, it's been an interesting one, actually, is uh, old What's-His-Face from Yogscast, uh, Sips, or whatever he's called. So, not going to lie, I am a I'm a fan of Sips, yeah. I do watch some of his content from time to time. I remember, of course, quite a few years ago, back in the day, when he was very much a YouTuber. There's so many classic series that he did, which were, honestly, really fucking fun and enjoyable to watch. Um, I mean, obviously, probably the most kind of standout series that Sips ever did was the Skyrim one that he did. Now, the problem with that one is... I haven't watched all of that. I've watched a bit of it, but the problem is it, it, it has over 100 episodes in it. It's the same problem, really, as my uh, So You're Being Hunted and um, uh, RTCW series here on the channel have. Basically, for new viewers, it's daunting as hell because there are hundreds of fucking episodes. But, you know, sometimes when I just want to watch something old, an old classic here on YouTube in gaming, I just stick on a SIP series. Isn't that right, Mr. Bunny? Yes, I bet all right, Sips too. Oh yes, oh yes, Red. I am quite a Sips to myself. It's the rabbit voice. It's the rabbit talking. I do sit there and watch a bit of your YouTubes on the rabbit computer. What would a rabbit call a computer? That is a uh, good question, you know. If a rabbit invented a version of a computer designed for its species. That's a bit of a decide. But yeah, so Sips' Skyrim series, of course, that's a classic. I always like to watch snippets of that from time to time. Um, but there's loads of other things that he's done which are really fun to watch. Like his Orcs Must Die too. That was another classic. Um, not the one where he um, did a few episodes in collaboration with a certain Yogscast member who shall now... Well, I should say ex-Yogscast member who shall go unnamed for quite understandable reasons. But um, his actual series that he did on his own... Because I, I just enjoyed watching him there. Because I've played Orcs Must Die 2, the single-player campaign, myself. Um, not not friggin' um, on YouTube, that is. I did, actually, fun fact, I did do a few um, Orcs Must Die 2 episodes uh, on my channel. as part of my original strategic campaign. I did about three of them. I don't know why I'm talking about that. I'm pretty sure I've already talked about that before. But, fun fact. Um, but yeah, Sips' series was enjoyable because he played the whole single-player campaign. And, of course, he laid out his strats for each kind of level. He'd go into them blind initially and think about, you know, what kind of strat he could use. But if he kind of failed to get five skulls after each level, he would uh, go back to it and replay it with a new strat that he'd worked out in his own time. And it was just quite enjoyable sometimes watching how he would solve certain levels. 
Well, Sips, of course, is a you know a funny or funny sort of guy because um, <laughs> on the one hand, you know, he's very entertaining to watch. Don't get me wrong, and I'm sure you know he is a pretty kind of clever guy. But God, sometimes when you watch his gameplays, <laughs> yeah, there's an old expression with Sips, so that as you watch his gameplay, you might be tempted to rip your own dick off. And good lord, yes. I've uh, sometimes felt that myself when I've watched old Sipster playing certain games. Of course, um, Sips doesn't really upload full-length plays now to YouTube anymore. He hasn't actually done so for a long, long time. Mainly because, of course, um, the problem with YouTube these days is it's just not really a good platform anymore for uh, gaming content creators. Because YouTube is a fucking bitch and doesn't seem to prioritise gaming content all that much. Right, go. Let's get this piece. Whilst we're invisible, so we don't need to use up any blunderbuss ammo. Let's get the hell out. That's how you do it. There was a fucking poacher over there. Maybe we can actually um, take him down. Can we get close to him while we're invisible? I doubt we will, but we'll see. Nope, I'm no longer invisible. Okay, that's fine. That is good by me. Fine by me, rather. I can just kill this guy. Maybe we can get some uh, stuff from him. You know, stuff like that. I'm sure there's plenty of my gameplays, you know, returning to the topic, that have probably made people feel like they want to rip their dicks off. And if you don't have a dick, because maybe you're, uh, I don't know, a girl, woman, whatever, then um, maybe you can buy a prosthetic one, and you can rip that instead. Don't know, just making a suggestion, that's all. How close can we get to him before he hears me? Maybe we could have gone up behind him then. <laughs> Oh god, Get the fuck out! <laughs> Bollocks. I was trying to see if I could fucking shoot him there, but... From that range, but it didn't really happen, did it? Unless I can just sort of get out of his direct line of sight, wait for him to turn around, and then try and deal with him. Okay, I think he's lost sight of me. Or has he? I don't know, I can't quite tell. That's the problem. He's still coming. Okay, there he goes. Right. Oh god, I'm, I'm kind of tempting fate a bit here by doing this, but um, that's the thing, isn't it? If you can just get close up behind him... You? Yeah. I'm really risking it here. You! <laughs> yeah, you're really um, walking a bit of a tightrope here, Red. What are you fucking playing at, seriously? Eat some of that right away to get my vitality back up. How many revolver shots does he actually take? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Three of them. Wow, his fucking hat just went flying. Flipping heck. What a guy. Oh, but he fucking, fucking lost his bloody blunderbuss. Apparently that destroyed it. Never mind. Alright, let's get the fuck out. Now that's a dick-ripping gameplay. Well worthy of <laughs> Sips' <his> channel. <laughs> Yes, indeed. But you know what I've actually been watching a little bit of recently? Again, going back to the topic of Sips. So, um, earlier in, I think it was 2019, about June, July, around about there or then, over on his Twitch, he started playing Minecraft again, and God, you know, I, me and Phil have talked about Minecraft so many times here on, uh, here on, um, on YouTube, on the Serie Being Hunted series, but... We always kind of come back to it every so often, because, you know, we do like that game. But it's interesting watching him play Minecraft again. Because, of course, back in the day, he used to play a lot of it. You know, you remember the uh, good old Yorks Cast series, Tech It and all that. Freaking Dirt Factory and whatever else have you. I mean, he did so many series, actually, like that with various other Yorks Cast members. But, uh, the, no, the one I've been watching is actually his... Um, well, it's basically the YouTube upload of his Minecraft streams. And boy, they are quite fun to watch. It's just kind of laid back, that's all. It's really fun. So it's definitely something worth uh, a try, if you're interested. If you like Minecraft and you enjoy watching content on it. Is there a... yeah, there is a smoke column over there. That's um, going to be difficult, because um, there's hunters and a dog in there by the sound of it. So maybe we could do some sneaky shit with... Bottles or uh, alarm clocks, I think I'll be fine. I think one of those hunters just went into a fucking trap, didn't he? Okay, hang on. If I put this sort of over this angle, then loop around. Oh, didn't see anything. Put that there. Right, so they'll come up this side. They'll be facing away from the old thingy bobber. Then we go around here. And hopefully, 
What I'm just a bit worried about is there's a squire in that village. Oh. Who's shooting at who? Wait. Oh, I think they're shooting at each other. Where's the dog, though? That's the question. Oof. They're still going for it. Well, as long as the fucking... Okay, they've stopped. Right, now they're off. Okay, just keep going over there. What I'm hoping is that the squire doesn't fucking come over. Because if he sees me loot this, he'll probably aggro. As they fucking do. Because they're annoying sometimes. <laughs> right, well, we got that at least. See, that's how you do it. No rule in this challenge saying you can't stealth it. You can stealth it if you want. If I want, rather. I don't know why I'm saying if you want. Because uh, you're not the one playing this, ladies and gents. I am. Right, we did that. That's that's good. That's why you got to, you know, it's always helpful just to have a couple of alarm clocks on you. A couple of handy alarm clocks. I've got a fucking shotgun ammo there that I need to actually deposit in the pub back on the centre island. Because I don't know why I'm carting it around with me. It's not very uh, helpful to me right now. All right. Um, where else am I going here? Run around here. Hmm. So yeah, watching uh, Sips Minecraft um, videos that he's uploaded on YouTube. Or to the Sips Live channel, technically, because he has a couple now. He has the original Sips channel from back in the day, which nowadays he only uploads like short, funny clips to from his streams. But then there's the Sips Live channel, where he uploads the full video on demand. So there's that as well. For those who maybe can't watch the Twitch stream first hand, but instead wish to catch up with it afterwards, basically this whole episode is turning into one giant advertisement for Sips. But why the hell not, eh? Who doesn't like the Magnificent Bastard, as they call him? Hmm. Right. Okay, I'm thinking we've been recording probably for about ten minutes or so, so far. Probably get going for another five, and then we might wrap up. Either for five or until we find this uh, final device piece. Wherever it might be. I need to keep looking around. In case it should show up anywhere. Yeah, hello, over the ridge. Robots. There's a farmstead over in this direction. What's the deal over here, if anything? Because we've only got the two device pieces so far. Yeah, there's just one more. Fucking landowners off in that direction. Into oh god, fucking knock my mouse like an idiot. Try not to do that again. Good lord. Right over the wall, as you do. Ugh. Has Red ever used the actual entrance <laughs> when he's trying to go over a wall or something? Or do I always just uh, jump over it? Even when the entrance is right there, I still do this. <laughs> Even though there's patently no need for me to do that. Um, hello? What's around here? Oh, you know of another actual SIP series from back in the day that I now remember? It's just sprang to my... Sorry, I'm, I'm still on the freaking SIPs topic here. Do you remember SIPs' Don't Starve series? Ah, oh, that was a beautiful one, wasn't it? Because he started off originally as Wilson, got several episodes in, died, and decided to have another go. But then he played as Willow, and he actually survived for quite some time. Now, that was a classic from back in the day. God, I remember my Don't Starve series. That was so fucking long ago as well, wasn't it? Lordy Lou. Don't Starve is one of those games which is fun, but can be a bit grindy at times. But it's cool with its uh, unique art style and all that. So if you love strat uh, not strategy, uh, survival games, Don't Starve is always one to try out. But yeah, the SIP series was really good. Because of course he was going into that completely blind, with a lot of stuff that he'd never seen before. There's a fucking scarecrow now. Those assholes are now spawning in, it would appear. Which is not ideal. <clears throat> okay. I don't know where this final device piece is located, but we'll just have to probably wait and see if we can see a wisp anywhere. Um, actually, having said that, I think my... Uh, throat is starting to go a little bit because um, I've been doing so many video recordings today. Well, actually, tell you what, I know I was going to go for another few minutes, but I might actually head back to the jetty, save, and then wrap up the episode just before uh, I end up with my voice giving out. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll do that. Because we got a decent enough length for an episode, haven't we? It'll do me fine. Okay, well, in that case, as we're heading back in the direction that we need to go, I am going to start wrapping up here. So, I'll save at the jetty, and then next episode we'll get this final device piece on this island. Facebook and Twitter links, of course, are down below for anyone who wants to sign up to those, along with a link to my propagandist channel for anyone who's interested in the anime content that I do every so often. 
mainly girls on Panzer, but occasionally it's other stuff. Um, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you for episode 367, ladies and gentlemen, once I get round to recording that. Goodbye, everybody. Pick the right one. <laughs> Again, I don't know. I've done it. It's been a while since I won my swimming costume. Does it look okay? It was a couple of times. To say it looks okay would be giving far too much credit to turn. If it fills a swimsuit, I like a supermodel. Awesome. I already feel my face getting red. You look. You look. Um, you look. Is, it, is that a bad one? No. You look perfect. Flatter. Heads off to the dining hall and quickly dives in gracefully. Oh, oh, oh wow. <laughs> Despite early protests, she actually doesn't make that much of a splash good into water. Follow up behind her, attempt to do a jackknife. A jackknife? How oh, that plan goes awry when I'm suddenly reminded that I've never taken more than diving lessons in my life. I do a total belly flop into the pool, splashing everyone in a five foot radius. In pain, I crawl out to the pool and sit on edge. A few months later, Young pulls a 7 out 2 with the wheel on the face. You see this video? That was a good view, wasn't there? <laughs>